Hey guys, I wanted to do a, another Taylor Hendricks vlog. I promised you guys I would start doing these more and here I am. Um, I have a couple interesting things to say. Um, I've had a poppy sighting, so if you watched my last vlog, you will, you will have heard the story of how I rescued a wild owl, which is just crazy. Who can say that they've done that? <laughs> Um, I've spotted her three times recently, so she's alive and well, and she has a partner out there. So I was right. They probably have a nest, so it was a really good thing to let her rest, feed her, give her some protection, and then let her go. Um, so I'm super excited to see that she's doing well. I think I got one, like, sort of photo of her, so I might post that on, a, like, a YouTube post. Um, I'm still figuring out how that stuff works. Um, I've had a rough few days. I was really, really blue and sad and upset. Uh, one of my rescue cats got out, Slayer, named after one of my favorite bands. She is a badass. She is the uh, a fire survivor. She was pregnant and outdoors, and she was like running away from those Malibu fires a year and a half ago, I think, roughly, give or take. And I found out about her, and I rescued, rescued her and her kittens. And um, she recently got out, and... I, I don't know, maybe she's happier outside, but yeah, it's been a few days. So I've been really, really sad because she was one of the first animals I rescued after my cat died that I had for 18 years. So my entire wrestling career and I pretty much had uh, that cat from the time I was like nine or 10 years old. So um, that was really rough. That cat moved with me everywhere I went for wrestling. Um, and so when I adopted Slayer, that was like a really big deal for me when I rescued her and adopted and fostered her and her babies. So I was pretty much her doula too. Like she, she was so, I don't know, like she helped me like help her give birth to her babies. That was like such a crazy experience. So I'm really sad that she hasn't come back. Um, but I continue to look every day for her. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been as active as normal on my social media, but I'm trying to be positive. Uh, something that made me have a great day today and was super positive is I got to do a motivational speaking, um, virtually, I got to do a motivational speaking uh, appearance today for the California, uh, the students of the California Human Development uh, Services Program. And it was so awesome. Uh, several of them are Taylor fans and some of them are pro wrestling fans. And I got to really just talk with them and you know answer questions and give them really cool boosters of positivity and confidence and camaraderie and it was just a really awesome experience to be a part of I love stuff like that um, and that's also one of my goals so that was like really cool that kind of you know made me smile so much today I feel very very blessed and I wanted to share that positivity and happiness with you guys uh, I if you would have asked me a couple years ago if this would have been possible, not just, you know, everything I'm doing now, but also having you guys' support, I would have thought that it wasn't possible. I would have told you flat out, no, I don't see that happening for me. And so to see the love and support you guys are giving me and all the opportunities I'm being given to give that love and support right back, I just, I can't tell you how truly blessed and positive and humbled I feel. There's just a sort of irrevocable pull of positivity and gratefulness and I think that that's really awesome and I, I never ever want to lose sight of that so I really just want to say thank you and let you guys know what's going on in this vlog and kind of share some of that positivity uh you know like I said I was having a, a rough bad few days and like I always say it's it's okay to have a bad day just don't let it turn into a bad life and I hope that I can be a source of positivity and motivation and inspiration for all of you as well because we're not in this alone. So many of us are going through very similar circumstances, but because not enough people get in on conversations like this, you know, we often feel alone or misunderstood or unheard. And sometimes I think it's just because people need to listen more and talk a little bit less when somebody else is hurting. Sometimes people just need to feel like they're not alone, even if they have nothing at that moment to say. Sometimes just feeling like they're not alone, it means the world. And that's why I always talk about being a part of someone else's survival guide on my, my podcast talks with Taylor Hendricks. Um, so I want to I wanna help be a source of that. And last year, during the, the real thick of it of the pandemic, I challenged you guys to start doing small things to help make you come out of quarantine better than how we all went into it. So I hope that you guys are still working on that COVID quarantine challenge that I issued to you guys last year. I know I took it seriously and I've been working super hard on it. I've published two books since then, my podcast, being a featured writer for Fightful, as well as now being 
in uh, like writing for a magazine and so forth. So um, I hope that you guys are going after your goals too. I would love to talk to some of you guys about your goals and really utilize the fact that you guys are so unique. There's only one you out there. And that's the difference between being ordinary and extraordinary. It's just a little bit extra. If you're willing to do that little bit extra, that's what's going to set you apart from the rest. And the one being ordinary is your extraordinary superpower. Never forget that. There's only one you for a reason. And that's, I think, when we grow up, we forget that when we go out into the world. And we need to be reminded that we're awesome a lot more and that we matter and that you have goals and dreams for a reason. And there's gonna be so many people, guys, there's gonna be so many people lining up to tell you that you aren't this or you're too much that, you're not enough this, you can't do this, and they project their own insecurities on you, they quit on you. I wanna tell you guys today, because I'm so passionate about this and I've been thinking about this a lot over the last few days, there's so many people that are gonna quit on you in life. Don't let you be one of them. Don't quit on yourself. Learn to believe in yourself when nobody else will. And cheer for yourself in the silence. Let your success be the noise. Okay, I believe in you guys and you guys matter to me. So if you ever feel like you don't matter, remember I'm telling you this right now. You do matter. You matter to me. You matter to everybody else in the Taylor Army community. And I want you to use that to go after your dreams and your goals. Whether you want to be a professional wrestler, whether you want to be a YouTuber, a fireman, uh, a pilot, whatever it is you want to be. If you want to be a teacher, a doctor, uh, a scientist, an architect, whatever it is that you dream of that you want to be, now is the time for you to try and go after that no matter what and at least you can say at the end of your journey that you tried imagine making it to the end of your journey and realizing that you didn't try it all i want you guys to try i am challenging you to try and find ways every day to remind yourself that you matter and that they there are things that you have that you should be grateful for that somebody else doesn't have so uh, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. I am all about the positive vibes right now, especially after the day I have had. I've had an amazing day and I just feel so blessed and I wanna share all of that with you guys. I'm very grateful for you all. Remember, be free with your authenticity. Yay. Talk soon.